Hi everyone, welcome to the latest video tour. This is Element 27. So this is the first of our 2025 spec vehicles. So each year we work out what the uh, specs are going to be ahead of time. It gives people the opportunity to actually upgrade in the previous year. So we'll see all the 2024 ones being built now actually going to the 2025 spec and this is probably the biggest set of improvements since the element 27 model was released back in 2018 so upgraded the power quite substantially and electric cooking and i'll go through individual things as we go through so fundamentally the basics are the same as far as the layout and stuff goes because it works um, but there's some a few goodies so element 27 based on the iveco daily 7210 uh, 72 210. That's got the higher output engine, it's got the airbag suspension, 8 speed auto, all the option packs from Iveco, things like Apple CarPlay, tire pressure monitoring, lane departure, radar cruise, uh, all of those kind of things, which is nice, as well as the comfort seats and diff lock and all those. So, in the front here, you've got your entry step. So, we're just going to work our way around the vehicle and then go inside. Um, nice big awning. So, the awning is electric carefree model we add the bluetooth module and the wind sensor to this one so it will pack itself up if it gets windy and there's an app for your phone as well so the element 27 is about 8.6 meters long our first little storage compartment there it's with the generator fuel tank so generator still standard it's about 33 liters capacity unleaded double entry step it's like i was saying the element 27 8.6 meters 3.3 meters high and the full width of what you're allowed. So lots of storage here. So you'll see all the bins, three millimeter aluminium. Everything is completely 3D modeled in CAD and that gives us the ability to CNC cut and fold things like sheet metal get to have every little notch on the cabinetry, all the walls, everything's cut absolutely perfectly to fit. So lots of storage. You can see here there's a lot of accessories that comes with the motorhome. So your solar screens for the front cab, hoses, leads, tow bar hitch, pump out for your grey or black water. So this next item is going to be one of the first bigger things that's different about the new Element 27. So this setup is borrowed from our Meridian 30 and it gives us a larger outside TV, which is really cool. So previously this model had a 24 inch TV. It's a bit hard to see there with the light, but that's a 32 inch TV now as standard in the latest spec Meridian. And you've still got room underneath the storage. So uh, baby Weber Q will fit in there and a few different barbecues. Um, we might end up coming up with a nice little induction setup that can slide out of there, but for now that's the standard setup. So nice and up out of the way. And being the uh, chrome locks, it's got the uh, automatic lock on too, which is nice. There's a power point in there too. It's all nice and easy to use, one hand. A simple outside power point. You've got your outside fold down table. The gas bottles are the same two four kilo units that we've had now standard for some time on the slide that'll come out and make the change easier but now the only thing that runs off gas is your hot water system as well as the gas bayonet point so we still keep that standard so if you do have a gas barbecue you can plug that in there now, power system really good brands. So we have Enerdrive batteries, two by 300. So you have 600 watts in total, or 600 amp hours, I should say. Then we have the new Red Arc RS3 model, 3000 watt or three kilowatt inverter. That's got automatic changeover built in too. So that means all your power points can become live automatically. Then we have the Red Arc BMS, the Red Arc Red Vision, and tucked away up there is also the new Red Arc Rogue unit and an additional DC DC charger. So this gives us in total 70 amps of DC DC charging, 30 amps of 240 volt charging, and 
potentially up to 70 amps off the solar. So the solar has been upgraded a lot too. We now have 1140 watts of solar standard on this model, which is a big increase from the 720 previously. And the intention there is to be able to give you the ability to run your air conditioning off your batteries and off your solar. So you still have to be mindful of the amount of energy going in and going out. We still have the generator as a backup for that, but it's been sitting here running for a couple of hours now. I think the battery's still in the 90s, so it's, um, it's probably going up again now that it's cooled down in there. But we're about a high 20s, maybe 30 degree day. Yeah, I'll set it to 24. It's nice. I like the colour screen. They've added a little bit of custom little kind of back corner here, which is cool. And the gold with the red as well. Now, just on the Red Arc gear uh, here, they've just released the new Alpha 100 amp um, battery management system. So that's, you know, no doubt everyone will go to that. And that'll give us even more capacity of 240 volt of generator charging solar. It'll really maximize the solar and also um, increase your DC DC charging while the engine's running up to 100 amps. And there's a few other cool features that um, we had some input on with Red Arc to really make the most of that piece of equipment. So happy they've taken that on board and they've found the product out and we've started fitting those on the vehicles that are inside now. All right, tow bar standard. You can see this here. Nice aluminium bumper bar. The continuous gas hot water system. So still gas for hot water, which makes sense in a vehicle this size. So the beauty of that, it's an instant or continuous unit. Uh, and that enables you to, if you want to have a 20 minute shower, you can have a 20 minute shower, you're not restricted. Beautiful hard cover there on the spare tire. Now they've added a ladder here as well. And I've had people ask before how that works. So you do have to take the cover off the tire to, before you fold it down. Um, but that gives you access on the roof if you want to clean your panels or whatever. Nice big slide out. So that's a four and a half meter slide out on the Element 27. You can see something that really makes it special is these lower storage bins here. They actually come out with the slide out. So uh, other manufacturers will have those either non-existent or under the vehicle, under the slide out. So you gotta either put the slide out in to make them accessible or some of them you can still crawl under but definitely convenience here is nice. So you do have your water fillers, town pressure point, more storage here. You get the generator on board in under here. Again, standard access to the toilet through here. Coming along under the, under, under the slide out area, we've got under bed storage. So this is quite big under here and you can see we've got a 240 volt socket and whether you can see that there's a 12 volt socket there as well. So again, all standard. And the height of this space has actually been designed with some of the uh, Dometic CFX fridges to fit under here. So if you do find yourself needing more than the 220 liters or so that we have standard, there's room there for that. More storage in here. Again, this is in under the lounge. And we've got the locker underneath the slide out. So again, these lower ones, three millimeter aluminium. Super strong, beautifully sealed. And with these really nice compression latches, that do have that electronic locking feature on them as well. Again, side steps, standard. You've got your, uh, you've got the, uh, the light there that lights up as far as the courtesy system. Very nice. All right, so before we go inside, some of the good features about the upgrade here is the fact that we've done much bigger battery, bigger inverter, much bigger solar, all to give you that ability to, um, on your induction cooking and your air conditioning off the, uh, off the solar, which is good. All right, let's go inside. So, insulated door with four stage locking, which is good. Got the double entry step, single step inside, and you do have the uh, umbrella holders under there too. Gas detector there for those of the keen eye. Around. They've got a red splashback, which is really cool. I like that. It's bold. Might not be for everyone, but I think it's turned out really nice. Alright. 
Yeah, we'll just really get into the 2025 spec stuff, guys. So if you're new to our videos, make sure you check out our YouTube channel because there's lots of content there where I go into detail on some of the individual features more on various videos. So for example, there's a video where we go right into the new 360 camera and the Ibeco features. So Ibeco, Apple CarPlay, 8-speed auto. This is the top of the range truck that you can get from Ibeco. Like everything we do, got the civil seats, genuine leather, they're trimmed here in the choice of color that you do. A lot of people seem to pick this color, it's gun barrel, but there's probably 30 different colors for you to choose from, and a couple of different patterns as well. So this is the standard pattern. There's also nice diamond stitching. Double lined header here, so it's fully insulated, and then it's got the padded vinyl finish there too. So even that looks quite, uh, quite delicate, it's actually really resilient too. The storage. So everything's lined beautifully in all these areas. Some extra goodies in there for the customer to hook up to for some of the accessories they've got. Same on this side. That's what those wires are for there. They've got some uh, little modem or something they want to add. All right, the fridge. As I said, about 220 liters. This is a compressor fridge, runs on 12 volt. And with the battery here and solar, it does that easily. I do like these fridges, they're good. All right, um, there's some minor things we did for the 2025 spec. One of the things is this cupboard here, compared to the previous models, we've actually widened this by 40 millimeters, which has given us a, the next size up drawer inside. So we've gone to a 50 millimeter deeper drawer. So that's just, this is an appliance drawer here. Also move the power point within the cupboard rather than in the gap above it with an access hole, just to make life a little bit easier. It makes some of the different air fryers um, and stuff a bit easier and coffee machines to fit in here. I think his customers a little bit more choice there and didn't really encourage here. Still plenty of room to sit on the seat, which is good. So that's all worked really well. Lots of drawer space. If you're new, you won't have seen these latches before. There is a new color. We've got carbon black on the sides too. This is the um, nice gray that was in the previous ones. So that just matches in better with the new colors that are available as well for the cabinet. So there's a lot more colors. So we just wanted to standardize that. It's a cupboard space. All these beautiful latches on every single cupboard. All right. I like the color. So that's graphite and Arctic white. So there's a few different whites to choose from. This was the non-metallic gloss. There's also an alabaster and a metallic gloss too. Nice big drawers. So it's a bit hard to kind of demonstrate just how big these are, but they're 550 mil deep, so very, very large drawers. Now, with because of the new setup here, we've got the same combination oven microwave that we use in the Meridian. Um, great results and good feedback from our customers in that model. So with the new upgrade, we decided to standardize that in this with the beautiful Dometic induction cooktop. So that's nice. So this is a combo oven, grill, and microwave. And then that's given us a bit more drawer space too, which is good. So we ended up with a big drawer under here, whereas previously there was a small cabinet. And then where the microwave used to go, we've got more cabinet space. So, Again, this is good for the things that'll stand up that are a bit tall. Very nice. We did actually tweak this cupboard slightly. It's about 10 millimeters deeper as well. There's a couple of things that people are finding fitment wise. If we just increase that slightly, it'd be good. And it hasn't encroached on our space at all. 32 inch TV standard. Still using the Samsung brand. I think in that size, they're still the best. Beautifully built in range hood here. That's all beautiful. If you've seen our videos before, you would have seen that. The Fusion, uh, top of the range Fusion Apollo stereo there. And that's got the outside speaker standard as well now too. Obviously all the hanging space and drawers, which is really nice. Then on this side, so we looked at the fridge, the big lounge. You got a drawer for this access here. It's a nice big deep drawer, 550 drawer. I reckon that's a good spot for shoes and thongs and stuff being near the doorway and near where you sit down to put them on. The table does rotate, 
it goes up and down. So you can create like a day bed environment for that. Or if you turn it around and push it down halfway, it creates a coffee table. Nice big cupboards above both. All the windows, double glaze, and they pivot from the top. And you've got a blind that comes up from the bottom and a fly screen from the top. And the blind has a thermal reflective barrier on the outside. So see our aircon going here. It's nice. So this is the another little actually upgrade. Not that you notice it too much visually, but it's the new um, fresh jet top of the range plus model so more efficient on energy and more powerful unit as well so just like normal we've gone straight to the, the better one out of those got your little lights on either side of the bed either side of the lounge as well as the front cab they're nice they've actually got I'll explain this here because look what I realized one short push gives a light blue light and a long push gives a bright light and the idea there is you can reach out in bed one touch and it just gives you a light light so you're not lighting up the whole place. Red Arc screen, um, this is the same one next to the bed. There's an app for Red Arc as well. So part of the new Rogue unit that's now standard is you have light dimming. So you can actually hold your finger on these and it dims the lights in the roof, which is awesome. More control, um, different circuits and stuff there. So that's great. Very accurate battery monitoring, uh, water level gauges and black water gauges can see exactly what's happening here now so at the moment aircon's just kicked into cycle and we're pulling about 30 amps out of the battery which is cool but it'll cycle up and down all the time drawers usb ports so we've got the new usb uh and the old school uh usb c i should say and the old style usb there too so you've got all your charging options on the bed so one um lift for your storage plenty of space under there Nice gas structure, and they're engineered nicely, so like I'm literally just one hand easily lifting and lowering, no banging, no nothing like that. Nice solid divider wall for the bathroom. Got your towel rails there. These guys went for the marine flushing toilet, which is an option on this model. It's normally with the cassette toilet standard. New bowl. I know people are gonna be looking at this. We managed to source a lower profile bowl that fits nicely. So if you do have colours coming up, I'm sure, or a bill coming up, I'm sure I'm going to have people contact me about that. Washing machine standard. And again, drawers. We're a big fan of drawers. They've got a little accessory here we're going to fit for them today. More drawers. And something that I probably don't cover enough is easy access to appliances and things like that. In the event that any of these do need servicing, it's actually quite easy to access all the various things that are in the motorhome, so very nice. Nice big cupboard. Shower, you got your pull out clothesline here, massage a shower head, plenty of room, soap dispenser. Going for a two tone shower now, a bit like the Meridian, too, so there's um, like the feature panels on that. Love it. All right. So highlights for the new spec, we have gone a double the size battery, so 600 amp hour battery. We've maxed out the solar, 1140 watts of solar. We have a three kilowatt RS3, Gen 3 Red Arc inverter. And it's wired up in a way that you can, like we are right now running the air conditioning off the battery and solar, which is good. So with that extra power, one, we can run the air con. Two, we did that so we can run the induction cooktop and the bigger combo microwave oven. So less reliance on gas, better comfort, more power. Absolutely. And obviously the bigger TV outside, which is cool. So I love that. All right, guys, so I'm pretty sure I've got one more set of colors to do for our builds this year, but I'm pretty sure everyone else has already gone to the 2025 spec. No doubt the other guys will too. Um, yeah. any questions reach out um, like I said if you've seen that sink in the bathroom there and you've got a build coming up just reach out as soon as you can and we'll see if we can update your paperwork on that one alright another wonderful element 27 beautifully finished and I think we've got a meridian up next which will be a couple of weeks so you get to see a the new spec on that so, all right guys subscribe any questions reach out call comment whatever you know what to do 
and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again.